One of the hardest parts of not knowing what to do with your life is that it feels almost impossible to take action. If you don't know where you wanna go, you don't know what you want, you're feeling depressed or you're feeling fatigued, and you're not feeling motivated to really change anything, even though you're not that happy. And so when you look in the mirror, when you think to yourself, like, how am I ever gonna get out of this mess? I don't know where to go, I don't know what to do, I don't feel motivated. How am I ever gonna get unstuck so that I'm not here a year from now? And I've been there, that's a scary feeling to have. Now in this video, I wanna share a little bit about some of the three strategies I've used the most to get out of those phases of life where you feel like you're just sort of lost. You feel like you don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, you don't have the energy to do it, and you're just feeling stuck. How do you get out of it? Let's talk about that here today. Hey guys, it's Alex Hine over at Modern Health Monk, author of the book, Mastel is a day. Now, let's get in it. Now, I'll never forget that day that I actually eventually booked my one-way ticket to China. This was in my 20s, I think I was 22. I'd finished my undergrad degree from Clemson in biology and environmental science. I didn't know if I wanted to be more of like an environmentalist or a doctor, and those two were the intersection of both, so I could take classes and learn. I didn't get a job in either. I actually went and I just got a job as a teaching assistant in a high school in New York because my dad was working there and he got me the job. This was during the big recession of 2009. Couldn't find a job in anything so I took what I got. And I actually really liked being a teaching assistant. I liked working in the tutoring center, but there was a lot of bureaucracy. And I found that after like six months, I thought, is this what adults do for 40 years of their life? Nobody questions this. No one does anything different. No one thinks there's gotta be more to life. I'm gonna blow my friggin' brains out if this is what I do for 40 years. And I have it good. Three months off in the summer, I was making 40K on a salary I was happy with. I was working like nine to three, great work hours. But the monotony, and like that was my potential. So that night I remember driving home, I was like speeding home listening to Paramore or something. And I felt those 30 minutes driving home on the highway with my windows down were the most exciting 30 minutes of my day, therefore my life. And I thought, that's depressing as hell. That's not gonna work for me. The next day, fate or God had intervened and I got a call from the principal saying they were doing massive budget cuts and every new hire was gonna lose their job in the summer. And she just felt really bad and she wanted to try to hook me up with another job elsewhere. And I said, oh, you know, I was actually gonna plan to do a sabbatical and, and travel around Asia for a year. And she felt quite a feeling of relief because she liked me, you know, she wanted to keep me there. From that point, I realized, wow, fate had intervened. It is time to book that one-way trip because I know this boring nine to five life, the white picket fence will always be here for me. I can always come back to it. So why not take a chance on the dream? Now, I bought that one-way ticket to China and I lived there for a little over a year. And as I was reflecting about why that year was such a pivotal, fun year of my life, I reflected that it was due to one thing. I trusted my gut. And over the last 10 years, I've been back from China for about 15 years now. Over those years, I've thought about three principles that have helped me stay unlost. And I wanna share what those are. Number one is the principle of resonance. Number two, the principle of intuition or gut instincts. And number three, the principle of non-attachment or surrender. Let's jump in and talk about those more. But I want you to also download the free journaling worksheet I've paired with this video because it's all about how do you get your life together? How do you get focused? How do you figure out what you want? How do you get motivated? How do you figure out that stuff? Download the worksheet. It's gonna go great with these three principles. So let's jump into number one, the principle of resonance. So the principle of resonance is simple. It's the idea that the more you chase what excites you, the more it is connected to your life path. Now we may be getting into some esoteric spirituality here, but trust me on this because I believe it's a scientific principle. The more you do what you're passionate about, the more it connects you to your overall correct life path that you want to be living. After all, we're talking about you being lost, right? I mean, feeling of being lost is, I am not on the right path in life. Because for a person that's on the right path in life, you're not scared about aging. You're excited. I'm excited because I'm doing my purpose every day. I'm excited. Next year, I'm working on my biggest book launch ever. I'm building new businesses, launching new programs. I'm excited to age. There's no fear. I don't wanna go back to 20, but that's the opposite when you're not on the right life path. You're afraid because every year is a year of the clock ticking down that you haven't done what you want to do in life and you're not living the life you want. So of course getting older is scary. You're like, Jesus, I have one less year to live. Resonance is simple. The more you do what energizes you, the more you use that as your radar, your homing beacon in life, that's your compass, the more you will not only feel increased energy, excitement, and aliveness, the more it's gonna connect you to your purpose. So for example, look at the evolution of my career. I didn't know 10 years ago I'd be doing this. 10 years ago, I didn't even think I'd be on YouTube. I never had the dream of being a YouTuber. I tested it out, it connected with people, it blew up, the universe was just saying, keep doing it, dude. Initially, I was like, let me be a personal trainer, maybe that'll get me out of my job. But then as a personal trainer, I was like, maybe I should write articles online for my clients. 
I wrote articles online and realized, wow, this is a real business where I can get some leverage and I can travel. Writing articles online led to me doing YouTube videos online because I got tired of writing, which led to writing books, which I realized I loved, which led to launching online programs, which led to realizing, man, I want to help people on a deeper level health-wise and self-improvement-wise. So I did a four-year doctorate in acupuncture, traditional Chinese medicine. Then I opened a clinic. Now I'm working on a new book. Each step was the next resonant step. I didn't know I would be where I am now. And I'm actually the most excited that I've been really ever, right? In my career, which is how it should be. And I'm working on the biggest things I ever have. When we talk about resonance, you have to just choose the next step. If you've read my book, Milk the Pigeon, you know I talk about the drunken staircase analogy of life. It's like when you're coming home from the bar and you're kind of hammered. You're shining your iPhone flashlight to find the steps so you don't eat it. And as long as you find the first step, then you can go up to the second step. But you don't try to take the second step when you're in the dark, when you haven't taken the first. 10 years ago, I never thought I'd write a book. Now I'm working on my third, going for the New York Times list. But you only have to take the next resonant step that excites you the most. It will lead you to the next step of your purpose. It's following the breadcrumbs of life. So resonance is the fastest path to no longer feeling lost. Trusting your gut. Principle two is about intuition. So just like I had an intuition to go to China, I had an intuition to shoot YouTube videos, I had an intuition to start another channel about doctorate of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine, how it helped heal me when I got super sick. I had an intuition to write this book. Your intuition is a great quote by Joseph Campbell, the guy who wrote the book of the hero with a thousand faces. And he has studied all these traditional cultures and their historical mythologies. And he came up with this idea of the hero's journey that it is an archetype within the collective unconscious of humanity. And what Joseph Campbell said was that he believes when you're following this kind of purpose, your follow your bliss is the word he uses. He believes it puts you on a track in life that sort of was always there all along. And he said he believes that it's almost like a superstition that when you're on that path of following your bliss, the universe opened doors where before there were only closed doors. There were only barriers. Things weren't working out. And he believes it's almost like a divine path. Like when you follow your bliss, it gets you onto this track that is the purpose you are supposed to be living. Like I feel like I'm living my life purpose. And if you're not trusting your intuition, your gut instincts, then you're not on that track and life's gonna be a hell of a lot harder or maybe continually not work out for you. So all of us get on the wrong track because we listen to other people, we're not trusting our gut, we're tracing security like the people who become doctors that don't really want to, but their parents want them to, or become lawyers or accountants. And the more you can trust your intuition, your gut instincts about what you truly want, what is my highest excitement soul path, the more it will lead to an explosion of synchronicity in your life that will connect you to your greater purpose. The third principle is the principle of non-attachment or letting go. And I want to Summarize it in one little sentence. Sometimes there's something better there waiting for you. You just can't see it yet. You know, if you've ever had the experience of trying so actively to date and then you just you're like, screw it. I hate this. I hate the apps. I'm going to give up. And a few months later or six months later, you meet your person. You know exactly what that's like. The last long-term relationship I was in, I moved to Los Angeles. I dated for a year online, something I'd never done, but it was the pandemic and I had no friends. And then I decided I hate this. I'm going to stop looking for a real relationship and I'm just going to focus on what I enjoy in life. Three months later, I met the woman I ended up dating for several years. It was this incredible relationship way better than I ever could have orchestrated or tried to orchestrate. When I tried to do it, it didn't happen. When I let go, just followed on resonance and intuition, I naturally ended up meeting her. And I find that that's actually more common than not in life. Years before I tried to write a book that didn't work out and then I said, screw it, I'm just gonna write a book that my gut feels I have to write and then let's see what happens. Guys, my books eight years later, last year, I still made $9,000 in royalties. That may sound like a lot to you, it may not sound like a lot, but for 100% passive income, that's pretty goddamn good. And it came from an inner calling to write the book, not to make money. I was shocked that it made money. It doesn't mean don't have business strategy. It doesn't mean don't have skills, but there's a great book called Obliquity about how your goals are best achieved indirectly and about how lots of the world's greatest companies that make the most money did not set out to make the most money. They set out to make the most amazing, beautiful products that transform people's lives. And if you have that intention, follow your purpose, follow what excites you, do your absolute best and work hard, your life will explode in a way that's really, really beautiful and really amazing. And you don't know how, you don't know when. You don't know when you'll meet the next person you love. You don't know when the business idea will blow up. You don't know when, but you have to trust and have faith because it will happen eventually. Trust those side paths by following your gut, your intuition, chasing that resonance radar and working hard aligned with these three principles. And a year of doing this, not only will you not feel lost, 
you will be so deep into your soul path that it will be life-changing for you. Download that free journaling worksheet that goes along with this guide, you guys, this video. And then I have another great video on how to get unlost in life right here.